Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. Um, Capricorn. I feel like something is brought to somebody's attention and it's something that's you may have seen in, pa uh, seen in passing, heard in passing, uh, that will trouble you about your partner. Some, uh, uh, a relationship that you thought was perfect may then suddenly not seem so perfect. Um, I feel like, uh, I feel, I feel like this will, you, you get suspicious and, uh, I feel like you, may decide to spy on your partner. This is about spying. So, and if this is not you, then your partner could uh, get suspicious about you and could be uh, spying on you. Okay, so <laughs> that could surprise you. If it's not you who's spying, then it is them who is spying. Know this, okay? Um, I don't feel like there's any reason for this I like I don't feel like anyone is cheating I feel like somebody was cheated on and that is why this is happening and this this is why it's so important to uh, to heal those old wounds you know um, this is somebody's trigger uh, something was brought to their attention either quickly it, it was like fleetingly in 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 something they saw or or something that they heard that started this up okay so here we have the perfect relationship um, and we see that suddenly something comes out of the out of the blue back here some type of betrayal that they suddenly become aware uh, aware of four of cups in reverse this makes them emotionally troubled because they thought their relationship was perfect and now oh my god what's going on and and this this is the person who has been cheated on before um i mean this may or may not have yet happened yet uh that you i, I mean <clears throat> that you see this or that they see this okay this could be something that is coming up uh that you will need to uh to deal with um, it's, it's going to work out okay, but it is serious in, in the, in the way that it could be something that could keep recurring. So it needs to be nipped in the bud. Okay. Because the devil is here. Um, so somebody really believes that their partner is cheating. Um, we have cheating cards all over but I do not feel that that is so. I feel like it is in somebody's mind and they are struggling with it. Maybe they're spending too much time alone. Maybe they've got too much time to think, you know, about this relationship. You see that they are struggling uh, with a decision. They, they are struggling, I feel, even to believe what what they saw. This is what drives them to um, uh, to spy, <laughs> or begin to spy, you know, the six of swords in the reverse, um, or some type of revelation. Okay, something, uh, maybe it, it's something the partner says, even. It could be something passed down, even. Uh, news, you know, and, and it kind of changes on its way by the time it gets to you. Something somebody says that creates this problem. And it's like uh, with the Six of Swords in the reverse, you don't know what to do. Okay? Um, so you're thinking about it and it's on your mind, heavily on your mind. You're trying to decide what to do with this information that you have or that you think you have or that they think they have. It's a heartbreaking situation, okay? Um, I think that they're really, really wishing to release their burden, okay, um, about a third party. So again, uh, maybe they're thinking of confronting their partner about it. Um, 
this is about a decision. And I feel like it's a very challenging one for this person. And I feel like they're really hurting inside um, just thinking that this could be going on. And it is because of this card that that they are feeling that way. And so I think that this person is carrying an old wound. You see them in the past, you see they chose the cup that had all the jewels in it that looked really good on the surface, but underneath there was a snake and they got bit, you know. And, uh, and so they're afraid that maybe this has happened again. This unicorn here is very beautiful and unique and rare, a rare find. Um, but now they may be questioning that, you know, because of what happened to them in the past. And it's why it's so important that you heal these old wounds. Okay. Um, talk to your partner about it. I, I feel like, yes, you should talk to your partner about it, but don't confront them. How you speak can make a world of difference, you know. Um, you know, look, I heard this or I saw this, uh, you know, but don't confront them with it. I feel like you're looking for a way out or a way, uh, you or they, to for a solution to this problem. You don't know what to believe. You are heavily burdened um, about a third party. There it is. But you are uh, also very determined with this fellow to find out. You're very determined to find out if this indeed, if your partner is indeed uh, cheating on you. Uh, are they going to leave me, you know? Uh, are they cheating? Are they going to leave me? Um, it's almost like they're reliving, reliving a past experience. Okay, so they could be projecting the past into this present moment. And it just, so it seems uh, really bad. They want to get to the truth. Justice is here. Um, so they want to get to the truth about a third party, about a deception, and or is my partner deceiving me, okay? And I feel like this is about a decision. I feel like they need to have this information. Um, you could be deciding you're going to spy. I feel like if you spy, you'll come up empty-handed. Um, and, and maybe you do try spying and, and you do come up empty-handed. And so finally, you will decide to talk to your partner. Okay, um, because you won't find anything wrong here. Your partner is not cheating. Okay, um, but I think you need that peace of mind. You need to talk to them and hear them say it. Um, you need to know, like you love this person. Uh, you believed everything they were telling you. Um, everything they were telling you, all the words of love, all the talk about the future, and then this comes up. But if you talk to them, you will find out that um, that there's some misunderstanding here on your part with something you heard or saw, okay? And so you're, you're, you, you may retreat into this hangman energy to really, really think this through, okay? Because you want to handle it carefully um, because you know that there could be consequences, okay? Um, I would say if there's something bothering you, you need to talk about it. Communication is key. Um, and you need to keep those lines of communication open. You should not bottle this up if there's something troubling you. I think that uh, your partner will understand what you're feeling, okay? And so I think that you need to talk to your partner uh, about this, but talk to your partner. Don't confront your partner. There's a difference how you approach it with your partner. So talk to them about it, okay? And uh, I think you'll find out that <laughs> that it was just a misunderstanding. 
okay? This is all going to turn out well in the end, so don't worry. Um, I think that <laughs> you, will, you will have learned a lesson here, and this is about following your heart and not following the swords, okay? So um, it's all of those swords, the painful memories, the painful memory of having been burned before that uh, that made you uh, think a certain way or see something a certain way. Uh, but it, it wasn't that way at all. Not at all. So your person really does love you. Okay? And you're about to find that out. And they are loyal to you and they are faithful to you. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you. Bye for now.